Hi there, everyone. This is Tina, and this is your message of the day. And this comes to you for the day of Sunday, March the 24th, 2024. And the number of four is very prevalent in in the date. And when you speak the date out or see it on a calendar, four seems to stand out. Because partnership is really highlighted this day. Partnership, relationships, friendships are really honored. And this is the time to clear the air between you and other people or to clear negativity in a home or even to reach out to someone who might want to hear from you. So any form of communication also is honored. That's why the opportunity card has come forward literally the opportunity of heaven the gate of heaven is open and is listening to you because the new moon is also coming forward and so you're part of all of this it's new for you now you've suffered enough you've questioned enough and you've been without and felt a lack and a limitation which is really not yours to call. That's not really you. If you see why is she looking at the moon? Because she's waiting then to complete tasks that she wants to complete. And that's been given to you, the chance to complete things, to not feel that you're hung up or you're just there. And if you see also... She seems to be holding something that is literally stellar rays of light coming into your hand ever so gracefully, bringing you the power of patience and grace and understanding and bubbles of light. You can literally create bubbles of light and ask this beautiful vision here who is the angel who's come forward for this day and those who know the archangels can also call upon Archangel Haniel and all the angels connected with lunar energies the moon and moon dust, and understanding of that, and the magic of moon dust, and bringing that forward. She's just standing there very gracefully. You can give her whatever name you want to. Again, she'll communicate with you to make it easy for you. Because that is your friend, you can say, from the lunar gateway and the lunar forces of the angelic forces who's come forward just for you. And that's why her wings also are very carefully poised together. So the past and the present, again, you decide which way you want the past to go and which way you want the future to flow forward. Grace, moment to moment, thought to thought, feeling to feeling. Just honor your feelings. Express your feelings, in fact. Don't keep them bottled up. And what she's wearing also, it's gracefully flowing down then into the into the earth, into movement forward, however it has to go, chakra clearing, standing tall, physically being strong, mentally being alert, and being in the moment. It's all coming to her just by holding that cosmic dust helps her merge. Now you say that I don't really have that in my hand, so am I really holding anything? That's why we always do therapy, to make sure that you feel like you're surrounded in a bubble, this time, of silver and blue and white light. Just feel yourself encircled in this bubble of white, cosmic, stellar, magical dust. 
it's helping you. And heaven has opened a gateway. And what gateway? A gateway of opportunity. Just to move forward. Wherever it is that you feel you're stuck. Be it physically, be it mentally, be it emotionally. Patterns. Things you don't have solutions to as of now. Manifestations that just seemed stuck or have just gone out of the window. So you can put your dreams into motion and not just into motion but also find a solution or movement towards whatever type of change or whatever sort of change you're looking for coming within this very week don't give a timing just let it be the more you step back and just kind of enjoy what heaven is giving you the more you will receive and more rapidly so. So you'll move forward rapidly as all elements of the universe are supporting you to succeed. It's a huge time of change. And just use this affirmation again and again to help you also through this change. I now courageously and with Full faith, embrace all the opportunities coming my way. I will succeed in all I do. And just feel, again, the angelic forces, maybe even hugging you or encircling you with waves and waves of love, feeling like feathers just surrounding you. Embrace it because remember that they will never reach out without your asking. So ask for it. Ask for it 20 times this day. Ask for it 30 times this day just to maintain faith, if nothing else. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to manifest. You don't want to heal. You just want to feel. Like you feel like your emotions have got buried under other things. Worry and care of the present, or even a physically malnourished body. Whatever it is, whatever reason you feel that lack of feeling, that's okay. At least acknowledge it and know that there's something that is not in alignment with the Holy Way and the Holy Spirit that has to flow through you. So don't deny yourself the chance to glow the chance to enjoy, the chance to feel. So you're ready now also to embrace another affirmation, more like a prayer. Again, use as you wish as many times as you want. There is no lack or limitation here. There's no rules. Follow your heart. Your heart asks for it. You ask for it. All you're doing is opening your door and shining your pearl. Let's put it that way. So with full faith and complete trust, I embrace all the opportunities coming my way. I ask my angels to lovingly guide me with wisdom and perfect protection as I seize all that heaven is opening up for me. So basically you're saying, I'm not just standing there in front of the moon for nothing. I have full faith that what I'm asking for, what I set out into that stellar gateway surrounding her, that it's embraced, that it's understood, and that it's worked upon immediately. You are now wearing this gown. You're one with the universe. You're feeling that feeling. Your heart has opened up. Your heart feels different. You feel different. And you're just focused in the moment. You're not worried about what you did not do in the past or what you could have done for the future. You're just here and now enjoying the change. 
and is coming and you're expressing your feelings because see she's holding her throat chakra that means she's asking for the ability to express the ability to communicate and not to just sit still and keep on expressing if to no one else just to the heavenly forces just to the angelic forces and archangel haniel though she's not present in this card will honor and express your emotions with you for you guide you hold you nurture whatever you need she's an archangel remember you can call upon her for the nidiest and greatest of things we often hesitate on calling upon the archangels because we think that they are just there for large purposes that i'm just one human being so my problem is not important you are important without you the blueprint the universe is meant to have is incomplete god is not happy seeing you unhappy the heavenly forces are not happy the akashic spaces are not happy your archangels are not happy and even this angel of opportunity who is waiting to just slip literally opportunity of whatever kind you seek if it's learning you want stand tall and ask for that learning if it's cleansing you want ask to be cleansed and just surrender and trust that is already happening trust also the action steps you are asked to take and don't think that that they will not work for you why presume the worst always and also if you have a manifestation maybe it has to be done in steps write down those steps be prepared for the steps if you're already performing some kind of prayer or involved in some kind of spiritual activity go ahead and continue that and enjoy it this time don't do it just as an empty ritual that, oh that's just a, something i have to finish in the day feeling remember honor your feelings so whatever your feelings also tell you in regards to a decision you have to make in regards to an action step you have to take in regards to an action step you did take communication you have to do with someone else all of that will come through very clearly through your heart chakra this day because that's the open portal you can say of light where archangel hanuel will also express herself you can ask for signs how is it that i know that you're even there with me and trust that everything is going fine of course you need that sense of security and that validation it's not incorrect to ask for it so don't think you're lacking faith even if you are already connected to the angelic forces or meditation for several years or several decades your humanity will take over this time because they're very strong forces of light going all over the planet right now and asking you to reconsider where you are there might be one chakra point that also tells you that that is your particular theme your particular problem but your opportunity it is also opening there if you have a problem there then you're already already been given the solution to it and if you want to create an opportunity you're being told green light go ahead but at least surrender and trust and try and ask only then of course the angelic forces can surround you with these beautiful beautiful flowers all around acting as a border as a protect protective force whatever reason you want to use these beautiful floral orbs surrounding this picture this time the power of archangel michael will come to you protection and power and strength security and safety and movement and literally leaning for support upon one of the angelic forces 
because some of you might think that she looks so sweet and fragile that can I actually lean on her for anything? Yes, you can. And if you see also one wing is hidden. Why is it hidden? Because if you see there's light above it, pink light above it. So something that might have been subconsciously hidden all this time, or you're just not aware of certain details in a situation. It'll now come forward for the betterment of everyone. See, because it's going into the clouds. Grace. Compassion. Love. Always it goes back just to love. A, set, a sense of betterment and harmony and peace for all concerned. And she's just relaxedly receiving it all. So just kind of mold yourself even to this to this day. You might find that routine does actually does not work for you, but the opposite is better. And it seems like she's receiving something constantly, right? Like that means like I can't do any of my work at home. I can't function on earth. I just have to be just listening to heaven all the time. No, you have to actually find your way to bring heaven into your everyday That's exactly what the Divine Ones want you to do this day. This opportunity you're creating is where it is that you feel you're limited and lacking. That I'm not able to do my prayers, that I'm not able to manifest, that I'm not able to be healthy. Whatever relationships, be it financial concerns, that I want to create a proper flow of money and abundance and opportunity for that. Maybe you have a business you want to start and you're not sure how to do it. This day, work on all those ideas and inspirations that you've been sitting upon and you'll definitely be given chances then to go forward. That's the, that's the word opportunity literally means that. A gateway, a doorway will open for you, a knowing of how to go forward, of who to connect with. Maybe your spiritual team, you have to also change that and find out which part of heaven is calling to you more and you've been ignoring it and thinking you don't have any intuitive faculties at all. Maybe you're a person who just listens to others and just never trust their own intuition. Let go of that. If I went quiet for a moment to allow you to just look into the clouds right now, this opportunity is just flowing towards you as bubbles of light and ideas, knowing, epiphanies, and opportunity will open consistently throughout this day. You just keep holding that orb and see how that orb has to be used. So one might be of surrender, surrendering and releasing and giving of your prayers to the heavenly spaces, but the other might be of receiving. Both ways she's got her one hand up. Don't think that that makes any difference. One way you're surrendering and the other way you're merging. And the more you do this and more with full faith, your trust, your faith, your surrender, your flow, and your fluidity, the fact that you're just going along with the moment, just exactly what is whatever your intuitive faculties and your intuitive self is asking of you, your feelings are asking of you, you're honoring it. And see, also, if you see everything is poised in a particular direction, all together, all going forward together. So all these heavenly symbols and heavenly beings, the divine ones, the angelic forces, Archangel Haniel, your own intuitive and higher self, all are opening this opportunity for you and will keep on opening this opportunity for you and help you to express whatever it is you want to express and create and heal and change. 
you finally have it. Just keep on asking. Happy now, assured, secure. You're surrounded by so many beings of light. Because this might not just be the only way you connect with the light. Of course, you honor your traditions, the family you've been born into, the community you're part of. Honor that. It'll make you feel even higher and better and stronger. This opportunity is opening up all kinds of movements that will just keep you moving, moving towards what? Betterment. Improvement, fulfillment, and finally peace and love, which is the ultimate you can say. Wish we have for life, right? We wish to be peaceful even within this moment, right? And of course, carry love within our heart and extend it forward to others. And if we do, rest assured, because the law of attraction never stops working, it'll come back to you. So you'll be surrounded by love. It's not that you just keep giving and get drained out. So I hope you enjoyed this journey with me and the graceful blessings of the angels. And this is given to you through my deck, Graceful Blessings of the Angels, T-I-N-A-S-A-R-U-P. And the wonderful way that the grace, beauty, movement, and motion of the angels is shown comes through the superb art of Sue Miller, and Sue can be reached at S-U-E-M-I-L-L-E-R-A-R-T dot com. And so this is Tina signing off for now. As always, I receive super validation from all of you and all your love. Thank you for being here and thank you for having this family of light in the space we meet every day. You just grow and glow and enjoy. You're meant to. So bye for now.